Yo, what's going on, everybody? You're watching Giants Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green, and I've got to lo I've got a lot to say in today's video. The New York Giants have been a dumpster fire, and the biggest dumpster fire of all 32 teams in the NFL offseason so far this year. They do not have a defensive coordinator. It is February 5th. No defensive coordinator wants to come work here. Their own offensive coordinator wants to leave. He does not want to be here. You just lost a tight ends coach to the Los Angeles Chargers to the same exact position, except he is now considered the run game coordinator. So last year you lost a running back coach. This year you had to lose your special teams coordinator, defensive coordinator, offensive line coach, and your tight end coach. You do not yet have a defensive coordinator. Denard Wilson did not want to coach for you. None of the defensive coordinators that you have hired wanted to work with you. What is going on? Why are the Giants a joke? We're going to try to unpack that on today's show. Brian Dable, you should be embarrassed for what has happened in the last 13 months. The Giants went from a feel-good, fun, entertaining, energetic, with a great future team. They were that team this time last year. This time this year, they are the armpit of the NFL. Nothing good has happened this offseason for the Giants. And we have more reports today that no one wants to work for the Giants and they want to bring back Daniel Jones and bring in a veteran quarterback to let him compete. What are the New York Giants doing? I've got a lot to say in today's show. We're going to get into it in a second. But first, I got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the promo code CLNS. And Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America, will match your initial deposit. Get your lineups ready for Super Bowl Sunday, which is just around the corner. They do these awesome, fun specials all the time. And I'm taking advantage of it by selecting more passing yards then half a yard for the New York Giants. I also think Pacheco is going to get in the end zone. I think McCaffrey will be a part of the Niners game plan in the run game and the pass game. You can roll with my lineup or fade my lineup. Just play daily fantasy sports with our proud sponsor, PrizePicks, prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. Also, if you're looking to go to the big game this Sunday, if you use the promo code Vegas100 when you download the Game Time app, they're going to hook you up with $100 off a ticket for the big game. It's just around the corner. It's in Las Vegas. If you can go, you should go and save yourself $100 off with promo code Vegas100. Down the game time at best seats, lowest prices guaranteed, and prices drop as the events get closer. Shout out to them for sponsoring today's show. My guy Jaquix Jaquix coming in with a $5 super chat. What up, man? How many years do you think the Giants are going to be Super Bowl contenders on this pace? How many years until? Um, how about we just focus on a defensive coordinator, Seeps? How about we find someone that wants to coach here at the offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, running back position, tight end coach? I mean, it's, it is really crazy what has happened. Since week one, like all the hope coming into this year, it is just like I know a bad season can obviously derail it and just, you know, have the franchise go in a different direction, but it just seems like, it, it just seems like it's a dumpster fire right now. But it shouldn't be. It's... I've got a lot to say. I've got a lot to say. Uh, the Giants are nowhere close to being Super Bowl contenders. They do not have a quarterback. I'm not sure they have a head coach. They definitely don't have an offensive or defensive coordinator. Literally do not have a defensive coordinator. Super Bowl is five days away. The Giants and Wink Martindale parted months a month ago. Um, yeah, Giants are in a bad spot. Um, it's not going to be a good show uh, for the Giants today. I wore this shirt because I do believe in this team and I love them, but uh, I'm not dumb enough to fall for this stuff. This is a joke, what is happening to our New York Giants that we all love. Should the Giants draft a QB in round one? Because Patrick Seatman, Matt Miller of ESPN, one of their NFL insiders who covers the NFL draft, said that he heard from the Senior Bowl, which is weird because he wasn't at the Senior Bowl. So he wasn't at the Senior Bowl, and he's being told that the Giants – Rumors at the Senior Bowl is that they're going to pass on a quarterback in round one and sign a veteran to compete with Daniel Jones. 
If you're going to sign a veteran to compete with Daniel Jones, Patrick Seaman, that tells me the Giants do not believe in him. No, not at all. So if you don't believe in him, why am I going to sign a veteran journeyman QB that will for at most be a stopgap fill for a year instead yeah. of resetting the quarterback clock and starting a new direction? I don't understand it. It's, it's ass backwards. I, I don't know what's going on with this football team right now. And I feel like normally when you go that veteran QB route to kind of put pressure on a guy, it's like you do that where it's like, Right before, if you're deciding whether to give them a deal or not, you don't do it after the fact that you already gave them 40 million a year. Because let's just say, hypothetically, we'll play into this report. Giants go out and they get uh, Gardner Minshew. They sign Gardner Minshew. She say, you know, Minshew and Jones, they battle during practice and Minshew beats him out. Does that mean Minshew is like the quarterback of the future then? And you're just pivoting off Daniel Jones? I just don't get why, if you're going to add some pressure to him, might as well have it be a rookie. Where you can have him on his rookie contract, then just I don't know. It doesn't doesn't make too much more too much sense to me. Daniel Jones is going to be on the books for forty seven million dollars next year. Why am I going to spend ten more do- ten more million dollars on a free agent quarterback and have the cap hit for my quarterback room be fifty seven million dollars? And Patrick Seaman, both of those QBs are not wanted by any other team in no. the NFL. Yeah. Why on earth would they do that? Fifty plus million for the couple of top 32 quarterbacks if that it I, I, I just don't get it it's a joke it also could be smoke hopefully it's a smoke screen we'll dive into that my guy vibes coming in with a 20 dollars super chat vibes we appreciate you says wish the draft was tomorrow but if the giants bring in a vet quarterback and don't get a quarterback in the draft i might just commit i hope you mean commit yourself somewhere to a to a class or something but i'm right there with you vibes I am right there with you. It makes no sense. It is backwards. You, no good team, no good organization thinks that going to sign a veteran quarterback that is not wanted by anybody else is a smart idea to bring them in and compete with Daniel Jones. It makes no sense. And it, it, w- it would make it. I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. So, because I'll tell you this much. If the Giants are bad this year, if the Giants are bad in 2024, Brian Dable, you will not have a job, and Joe Shane, you will not have a job. So if what you're doing is using a lifeline to preserve your job is to sign Jacoby Brissett, you think that's going to save your job? So you think, like you think DJ is that bad? Like, like I'm talking about the organization. Like you just gave him 40 million dollars. Now you're like. Ooh, Gardner Minshew, Jacoby Brissett. We need to bring in some competition. Like it's just like, how many, how many games did he play this year? Daniel Jones six. Yeah. So he played six games. Through two touchdowns in six games. I mean, maybe they saw enough and they're just like, we need to move off. But I just don't get. I feel like it's either you just ride it with DJ or you draft something. I am losing all the hope that I had in this organization. It is very, very bad. Tuto, what up, man? Thanks for stopping by and being a real one. Massive salutes and respects to Big Boss Marshy Seeps and all the diehard Giants fans in America. Let's go Team Italy versus the Irish losers next Sunday. I'll be on the defensive side. Please pray for my victim. Let's go. Tuto, if you can find a way that that game is streamed, yes. send me the link and I'll be tuned in. Please and I'll do. be tuned in. I would love to watch. Um, we love you, brother. We love you, man. Uh, Tuto, go have fun out there and uh, break somebody's clavicle or something. Let's go. Hell yeah. February is here, Patrick Seatman. It may be one of the most down months of the NFL calendar. And Especially we wanted to try to spice up the month of February for all of the real ones out there. We've got a couple of month-long competitions, raffles, and giveaways. Every $10 Super Chat that you send in in the month of February will get you one raffle spot on a custom New York Giants now football. I don't know if you guys remember, we had a football as a giveaway this year with the New York Giants now logo. It'll say February MVP. I I know we do giveaways for jerseys and all that. I want to do something special. You can't find a New York Giants now football anywhere uh, on the market. So I wanted to create a custom one. If you send in a $10 super chat this month, all this month long, you send as many as you want, you will enter our raffle giveaway for a custom New York Giants Now football. Yep. Also, if you send in a $50 super chat this month, 
We've got a new ring of honor. We're usually a hard hat family, but the hard hat didn't hard hat for us in the off in the season this year. So I don't even bring that into work anymore. We're moving on to new things. We've got a real Giants helmet. If you send in a $50 super chat, you are going to join our off-season Hall of Fame. And whoever sends in the most $50 super chats in the month of February, you'll be our February bang winner, and you will get a custom New York Giants jersey, whatever name, whatever number you want. And myself and Patrick Seaton will sign it, and we will send that to you. So whoever sends in the most $50 super chats this month, you will win a custom Giants jersey, and every $50 Super Chat will get your name and your initials on our Giants Now Hall of Fame helmet for the offseason. I kind of want to put this on, Seeps, and I want to go one-on-one -on -one versus Brian Dable and move his ass. I want to move his ass and show him that he's got to get his shit going. If you have to go Oklahoma drill, Dable or Shane right I want now. them both. You want them both? I want them both. <laughs> Two-on-one. Two-on-one. These guys are pissing me off. We used to be a storied franchise. You used to be one of the most respected in this league. And now you're a joke. And now you're a joke. So this is our February deals of the month. Every $10 Super Chat will get you an entry into our Giants Now raffle. A $50 Super Chat. Um, get your initials on the helmet. You also are entered into our February bang contest. Whoever bangs the most, a.k.a. sends the most $50 Super Chats in. You'll get a custom jersey. And Seep, since I know I'm not going to be too nice to Daniel Jones today, and I wasn't nice to Daniel Jones last week, our deal of the day. We're going to have a new deal every single live show this month. Deal of the day, if you send in an $8 super chat, I got to say something nice or compliment Daniel Jones. And guys, hopefully Marsh doesn't hear this. Marsh, close your ears. This was actually my deal of the day. I just want to see Marsh compliment Daniel Jones. He's been very mean to him for right reason, but I thought it would be funny to uh, – Kind of forced the issue on Marsh on this one. So, I know we got a lot of Daniel Jones and the fans in the building. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Say something nice about Daniel Jones. He gives me vibes of he dominated, like, after school sports with his friends what's in the, high school. What's the game with the pole? Tetherball. I see him as a big tetherball guy. Like, if you – and, again, where am I? Right here. If you were Former a Former producer of Giants now by yep. Chat Sports, Patrick uh Matthew Peterson. If you were a I took the bus home after middle school kind of guy and played basketball in front of one of my friends' house until it got dark, he dominated twenty one. Oh, he dominated yeah. all those sports. He was the first round first pick guy? Yes. And no matter and like they would try and like split him up with other players. Like you can't have Daniel with that guy yep. too. <laughs> he would definitely try to be like, oh, we're a package. We're a package. Say something nice about DJ. Say something nice about DJ. Matthew that's a, that's actually a great compliment, though. It is. Yeah. Everyone wanted to be the first pick in the after after oh, school sport. Like game. kickball, Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones is a good kickball player. Hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. So that is our February deals of the month. Check them out. This new helmet, man. I want to put it on, and I want to go one on one versus Brian Dable. Let's ride. Who's going to be the first person to bang this month and get their name on the on the helmet? I. I, th I think Dable would smoke you. If you guys had an Oklahoma I've drill, got more heart. I've got more heart. You got more heart. Dable's a big dude, though, man. How tall do you think Brian Dable uh, is? 5'10". 5'10", 230 right now. He's 5'10", they say. 5'10". He's way bigger than 230, dude. 250? I'm like 225, 230. Yeah. So I think he's much bigger than me. Much I'm Much bigger. Um... Dude, Dave would, Dave would be a monster coming down that lane. I would, I would sacrifice my body for the real ones. Would you, would you go crown down? Oh, I'm playing dirty. <laughs> You're playing dirty. I'm playing dirty. I absolutely am. I absolutely am. Um, we are going to get into a mailbag in today's show. Hashtag Giants or Super Chat. And if you haven't yet, please hit the thumbs up icon. We got eight, 185 people watching. Only 35 likes. Only 35 likes. Can we get to 100 likes right now? Can we get to 100 likes uh, right now? Please please hit that thumbs up icon. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. 200 people in the building. We've got a lot to talk about. I've got some... Uh, Tuto says I'm too short. Six foot's too short? Six foot's too short? <laughs> um, maybe. Maybe. Um, 
Eric Cruz, our we got your super chat. Our software is just. Uh, I think Vince. I think Dable is way bigger than two thirty. Two thirty. Yeah. I mean, dude, he's huge. Dude, he's he's a fat boy. He's off. Like, he's he's all belly. All I got to do is hit him at the legs, and gravity will take over. But what if you hit the belly? <laughs> got to get low. Saquon Barkley says, "No way, you're six feet." Okay. <laughs> all right, it's all good. It's all good. Vince G, I appreciate that. Are we uh, are we having some problems on the super chats? Eric Cruz, we appreciate your ten dollars super chat. You're gonna be the first ticket. Actually, Tuto sent in a ten dollar one as well. So Tuto Azuri and Eric Cruz are in the raffle to win a custom New York Giants football. Um. Also, he said, say something nice about Daniel Jones. So I think he wanted that, but he just did 10. I'll give him a two for one. Um, he's got good hair. Daniel Jones has a good head of hair, man. He's got good hair? He's got good hair. He's got good head of hair. Um, that's my first compliment to DJ today. Every Somebody eight, else send in an eight. Every $8 <laughs> super chat, I have to compliment or be nice to Daniel Jones today. He's got a good head of hair, man. He Coming did, from does, a guy that's does. got a widow's peak and two calyx right here, that guy's got oh. some good lettuce up top, man. You're right. You're right. He does. <laughs> He's got he good does. lettuce. Is that is that not enough? Do you want it to be nicer? What do you want me to do? Kiss this guy's feet? Oh, that's fine. That's just a good start. That's, that's a, good a good starting start. point. It's just if you're already at the hair, there can't be that many. Like, if you're already going off the football field. Um. Hey, every $8 super chat, I'll say something nice. About Daniel Jones. Who's going to be the first person to get on our new helmet? I thought this was pretty sweet. Got an actual football helmet. I go head to head with Dave's. Eric says there's no $8 in my phone. I think you have to type it in. But yeah, if you slide it, it'll work as well. Maybe we didn't think that out as much. Eric Cruz, you're a legend. What you did last. Oh man, this is looking good on screen right now. There we go. Oh my. Ah. There we go. Oh, my God. Henry, I have no idea what that means. Vince G says, nice helmet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Corinne, look at you being a sweetie. All righty. Hashtag Giants or Super Chat to get on today's mailbag. We're going to start today's show um, talking about some NFL draft rumors. NFL draft rumors. And then we're going to talk about Brian Dable and the defensive coordinator and offensive coordinator news because it's embarrassing what's going on in the building right now. So draft rumors, and then we'll talk, and I'll go on my rant about Dable uh, and this Giants organization. But uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Hit that thumbs up icon. 207 people watching. Let's get to 100 likes. Let's go. If you have liked the video, type me in the comment section. Welcome into New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. Appreciate everybody for taking time out of their busy schedules to rock and roll with us as we get you caught up on all the news and rumors that surround this football team. Matt Miller of ESPN said at the Senior Bowl down in Mobile, Alabama this past weekend that the rumors suggest the Giants are looking to sign a veteran QB instead of drafting one in the first round. This was the quote. From Miller, he says, the rumors swirling at the Senior Bowl among agents is that the Giants are more likely to add a veteran free agent QB to compete with Daniel Jones than draft one early. What are we doing? What, what are we doing? This is so backwards. This is ass backwards. Because you know what you're saying? If you are saying that you want to go out and sign a veteran quarterback to compete with Daniel Jones, that means you are saying you don't believe in Daniel Jones. That means you are saying you do not have confidence in him as the starting quarterback of this organization to lead you to where you want to go. That means that you do not think he is good enough to have an unpressured or competition-filled offseason. If that is the case, which it should be, if you think that Daniel Jones is not good enough to be the franchise quarterback of the New York Giants, move on. 
Take the band-aid off. You've got a gash on your arm that is leaking that needs stitches. Putting a little Neosporin and a band-aid on that does not fix it. It's only going to infect it and make the problem go on for longer. This is awful, awful decision-making. If true. And that's a big thing. If true. Because if you're Joe Shane, which I think you are a very intelligent person, Joe, if you are, like you have shown from time to time, why would you let the National Football League and the agents know that you are not interested in a quarterback and that you want to sign a free agent quarterback? You would not do that if it was true. And if you are doing that and it is true, boy, oh boy, do we have bigger problems. Because so far, since Joe Shane has taken over as the general manager of this football team, he keeps everything right here. He keeps everything tight to the chest. Nobody knew the Giants wanted to go out and get Darren Waller. He told you, and he lied to your face, saying we weren't trying to shop Kadarius Toney. And he was, because there's no need to negotiate or compete with what you have said. He is way too smart for that. So I am going to go out and say, hopefully, prayer-filled, that that report from ESPN is false. And that Joe Shane wouldn't let the media know that it is true. Welcome to the smokescreen season. Believe half of the things you read, half of the things that you are told. Because I remember back in April of 2022, there was a report that came out, and you can see the date at the bottom of the screen, 11-28 at, on April 22nd, 2022. A report came out from SNY that some members of the Giants front office have repeatedly, or reportedly, excuse me, been turned off by Kayvon Thibodeau's personality. The next week, they drafted him number five overall. So I am praying. I am praying that it is a smokescreen. Because if you believe in your heart of hearts, Joe Shane, that the best move for the Giants at the quarterback position is to sign a veteran to compete with Daniel Jones and to, and to not draft a quarterback in the first round, you do not deserve to be a general manager in this league. I'm praying the Giants are not letting people know their plan. They did not with Deontay Banks. They did not with uh, Craven Thibodeau. Say it again. Giants just signed their new DC. We'll break that down. Who is it? Let's just cut this. Let's just get into that. Who? Shane Bowen has been hired as the defensive coordinator for the New York Giants. The Giants have just hired their new defensive coordinator, Shane Bowen. Oh, here we go. The Giants have hired Shane Bowen as their defensive coordinator. Oh, man. Yeah, this seems pretty desperate to me. You interviewed him a month ago. You interviewed him a month ago. Oh, man. Shane Bowen has been hired as the defensive coordinator for the New York Giants. I'm going to update this live title. Give us a second. The Giants hire Shane Bowen as next DC. Defensive coordinator. Breaking. Giants hire Shane Bowen as their next defensive coordinator. Oh, Lord. I'm not saying it's not a good hire. I'm not saying it's a bad hire. But he's like the fourth person you wanted. He's like the fourth person you wanted. Not good. Shane Bowen, um, he was the defense Tennessee Titans defensive coordinator from 2021, 2022, 
in 2023. The report initially after Denard Wilson, who was the top Giants defensive coordinator candidate that took the job with the Baltimore, uh, excuse me, took the job with Tennessee Titans, is they wanted to keep Bowen on the staff. But at that time, he hadn't been hired, uh, interview, or be, been offered the job as the Giants DC. So the Giants circle back to a candidate that they interviewed. They interviewed him back on January 12th. They just hired someone they haven't talked to in a month. <sighs> they can't get anything right. They can't get anything. This is such a rush move. This is such a rush move. We'll just do the, the news cut and then a mailbag. We'll yeah, we'll just film that tomorrow. And then the Dable thing is cucked as well. Um, this is a completely desperate move. This is so desperate. And I hope he's the guy. I hope he turns out to be a good defensive coordinator. But you wanted, you wanted Denard Wilson. He told you no. You wanted Bobby Babich. He told you no. You have not... You, the last time you interviewed him, unless there was one over the last couple of days, was January 12th. It's February 5th. Um, I hope he does well. I'm not rooting against Shane Bowen, um, but I mean, yikes. Stick with us. We're going to get you caught up to date on everything. Um, I thought I, I think I had some graphics at one point. Yeah, I want to say it was a listicle of Titans points per game under him. Yeah, Titans under Bowen in 2021. They allowed 20 point up uh, row 62. Uh 20.8 points per game in 2021, sixth least, ranked sixth in the NFL. Then they gave up 21 points per game in 2022. That was 14th in the NFL. And then this past year they gave up 21.6 points per game, 16th in the NFL. Um it was the defensive coordinator under Mike Vrabel. So, got to wonder a little bit how much of the defensive game plan was his compared to Vrabel's. But, um, Tennessee's defense has been pretty solid, I would say, over the last couple of years. I thought they did a really good job. Was that... When are the Titans versus Ravens playoffs? That was 2021. I'm not sure he was the defensive coordinator then was that 2020 where the titans beat the ravens yeah he wasn't the defensive coordinator then um some other stops along the way he was the georgia tech assistant um a grad he was a georgia tech graduate assistant from 2009 to 2011 in 2012 he was the graduate assistant for ohio state in 2013 to 2015 he was the linebacker coach for Kinesawa, uh, however you say that, state. And then he was a defensive assistant for the Houston Texans from 2016 to 2017. And then he was the Titans outside linebacker coach from 2018 to 2020. And then the last three seasons, he served as the defensive coordinator for the Tennessee Titans. Diana Russini on the report. The Giants have hired former Titans defensive coordinator Shane Bowen to be their new DC, both GM Joe Shane and Brian Dable stressed the importance of taking their time in the pro. That's such bullshit. That is such bullshit. Taking the time, taking time. You know why you had to take time? Denard Wilson didn't want to be here. Bobby Babbage didn't want to be here. No defensive coordinator wanted to be here. You last interviewed this guy in the beginning of January. You took time because nobody wanted this job. That's a lie. They didn't take their time. But 
Joe Shane told you he wanted to have the defensive coordinator hire wrapped up by last Friday. Convenient enough, on Friday, Denard Wilson told the Giants he wasn't coming. That means he told you he thought Denard Wilson was the guy. And I'm not here to argue if Wilson or Babich or Bowen is a better coordinator. Time will tell. But the process was flawed. This is a lie. They stressed the importance of taking their time. Then why did you tell every New York Giant fan that you wanted to have it wrapped up last week? I may have a widow speak, but I'm not a fucking idiot. I'm not an idiot. And if you watch this show, you're not an idiot either. Don't believe that. That is a lie. That is an absolute lie. It's not Brown. Bowen. Maybe I had that in there. Yeah, and we could talk about um, yeah, Giants were taking their time. They interviewed people at the Senior Bowl. They didn't know this was going to be their defensive coordinator two days ago. Is there any other That's the offensive coordinator stuff. I think I'm going to do a video on that tomorrow. Um, that quote from uh, Renan, the 2-1 about the delay in the timeline. Let's hit that. Um, yeah, this might just be an 8.0-er. Let me pull up Twitter. Stick with us, trying to get everything settled. We are live. The Giants do have a new defensive coordinator to take over, Wink Martindale. It will be Shane Bowen. He spent the last three years as the defensive coordinator for the Tennessee Titans. He is known for running a 3-4 defense with Tennessee. I'm told Giants expect to bring back most of all of their defensive staff. That's another reason people didn't want this job. No defensive coordinator that's a priority hire anywhere else wants to come work for a defense that has all their staff in place. He's known as a good teacher, specializes in pass rush. His work with and the development of Harold Landry was notable under his watch. Of the defensive coordinators that were interviewed, he does have the most play calling experience. Also, he has a connection to Ryan Cowden, who is a Giants front office uh, member. Um, he's an executive advisor to the general manager but he worked last for the Tennessee Titans. So it took you two weeks to come to an agreement on a contract? That's why you were taking your time? Don't let these people lie to you. You're way too smart for that. Man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, I'm just doing some research on my end. This guy might be your DC for one year because if the Giants are bad again, Brian Dable's getting fired. This is not good. Giants were conducting interviews three days ago. They didn't have to.
That may seem like I'm upset. It's not because I don't think Shane Bowen's a good coach. It's because the Giants are a dumpster fire right now, and they're the laughing stock of the National Football League. They're the laughing stock of, your na of the National Football League. Do you have, like, a picture of him in the show or something? We're about to get all in and all of this in a second. I'll share all my thoughts and opinions. So stick around as new information continues to come out. The Giants do have their new defensive coordinator in Shane Bowen. Spent the last three years as the D.C. That a full screen photo. From twenty twenty one to twenty twenty three, the Tennessee Titans had the number one ranked run defense per EPA. Per EPA, which means they were really good at stopping the run. Really good at stopping the run. Um, you, uh, we'll talk about this on the show, but a um, lot of stuff to get into. Do they say what they want for a sponsor on this? All righty. Just make that a full screen photo if you can. Yeah. All righty. Let's get into it. The New York Giants have hired Shane Bowen to be their next defensive coordinator. Welcome into Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. We're going to do our best job to get you caught up to date on everything surrounding the Giants, but most notably, tell you who Shane Bowen is. I'll tell you what I think about the hire, and then I've got some words about Brian Dable and the state of the New York Giants, because it is not pretty. But it is an exciting day. The Giants have replaced Wink Martindale, Shane Bowen former three-year play caller on the defensive side of the ball for the Tennessee Titans. He will now be your New York football Giants, D.C. This is why you subscribe to the channel, though, because if the Giants make a move, we make a video. We put out free, informative, entertaining, passion-driven content for free every day on your New York football Giants, no matter if we're in season or out of season. We're here all year long. So if you're looking for nonstop coverage of Big Blue this offseason, subscribe to the channel right now and turn your notifications on so you don't miss a thing. Diana Russini was the one who broke the news of the Giants hiring the next defensive coordinator. Quote, the Giants have hired former Titans defensive coordinator Shane Bowen to be their new DC per source. Per source. Both GM Joe Shane and Brian Dable stressed the importance of taking their time in this process. They now have replaced Wink Martindale. I kind of just want to talk about that second to last sentence. Both general managers Joe Shane and Brian Dable stressed the importance of taking their time in this process. If that was true, and if you're a fool and you believe that, then why did Joe Shane tell the media at the Senior Bowl that he wants to have the hire by the end of the week, which he said last week? Why put a timetable on it if you want to take your time? You know why? Because the guy you wanted to be the defensive coordinator, he didn't want to be the D.C. You offered Denard Wilson the job. The job was his for the taking. He did not take it. You also wanted Bobby Babich to be your defensive coordinator. He stuck with Buffalo and took that job. You can't fool me. This was one of the Giants' last choices to be the D.C. And that doesn't mean Shane Bowen's going to be a bad D.C. Or a good D.C. The point is, someone told Diana Rossini to say this. 
to try to convince you we're not stupid. The Giants lied to us, and they will continue to lie to us. If it was true, why did Jordan Renan say this? The, he said this today. The delay in the timeline of the defensive coordinator hunt is because the Giants did not land two of their top targets. They have since recalibrated. So you recalibrate the search, a.k.a. you go back to a guy that you didn't have in your top two that you interviewed on January 12th, and on February 5th you hired him. Another reason nobody wanted this job, there was some concern from candidates given that Brian Dable and this regime enter year three with pressure to show progress off a disappointing season. Who knows what happens if 2024 does not go well, a.k.a. nobody wanted this job, because they know if the Giants do not make the playoffs, they will be fired, just like Brian Dable will be fired, and just like Joe Shane will most likely be fired. Look, I am praying and hoping that Shane Bowen is the guy, and he's actually had a really good tenure with the Tennessee Titans. In 2021, when he first took over as the D.C., they had the sixth best scoring defense, allowing just 20.8 points per game. In 2022, they had the 14th best scoring defense. They had 21.1 points per game. And then in 2023, they were middle of the pack, giving up 21.6 points per game. I think he deserves a lot of credit for that, but he also was working with Mike Vrabel, who is regarded as one of the smartest minds on the defensive side of the football in the National Football League. But one thing is for sure, the Tennessee Titans, under the, under the direction of ba uh, Bowen, Shane Bowen, from 2021 to 2023, they had the highest EPA on rushing plays. Their rush defense has been one of the best in the football in football the last three years. Not so much when it comes to passing. He is a guy that is supposedly known for being a great teacher and for being able to generate a pass rush. Got a lot of credit for the growth and rising stardom of Harold Landry, who is now talked about as one of the nicest young players um, at the edge position. I don't think it's a bad hire. I don't think it's a great hire. But it wasn't your first option, and it wasn't your second option, and that is okay. All that matters is now, he does a damn good job. And I am rooting for Shane Bowen. I absolutely am. So I'll ask you this. Grade the hire of Shane Bowen as a defensive coordinator to the New York Football Giants. I'm going to give it a C plus. I'll give it a C plus. Um, I give it a C plus. Wasn't your first, wasn't your second. I don't even believe you was your third or fourth. You were just hired a new defensive coordinator at the Senior Bowl. You didn't have to. Maybe you're doing due diligence, but that tells me you didn't love this guy. Because if you did, you would have had him as your number one or number two player or coordinator to be hired. Let me know. A, B, C, D, or F. Also, want to tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the promo code CLNS, and Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. The Super Bowl is right around the corner, and your lineup should already be made, and it should include more than half a passing yard for Patrick Mahomes. They have a lot of specials they run all, all the time. And um, you can take advantage of this one. I don't think Isaiah Pacheco is going to get in the end zone. I think McCaffrey will be a factor in the passing game. Check them out, prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. You could use my picks, fade my picks, or more. Just play prize picks. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. Just a couple of tweets that I want to go through on today's show that are coming out from some Giants insiders and of that sort. Um, Shane Bowen has been the Titans defensive coordinator since 2021. His unit ranked tied for 17th this past season. He's known as a good teacher, specialized in pass rush, got a lot of credit for the growth in Harold Landry. He is known to run a 3-4 defense, but I would not look too much into that. So many teams operate primarily out of the dime and nickel packages, so you're really only in your base defense on short yardage plays or in the goal line. Shane Bowen has been... Um, really good against the run. However, they struggled in the past. As you can see on screen, they're ranked 26th in EPA per drop back in the last three seasons. Giants don't really have that many good DBs outside of Deontay Banks, so he's going to have to take on the task of hopefully, you know, developing 
some of those guys. Bowen took over the Titans' defense in 2020-21. Um, here's some of the change from 2020 when he was not the D.C. They were ranked as the 28th EPA per play. They jumped to ninth the following year. QBR went from 25th then to 8th. Explosive play percentage went from 27th to 4th. So a noticeable jump there. Um, this past year, his unit allowed 335 yards per game, 107 on the ground, and 227 through the air. That ranks 17th, 14th, and 18th. Um, despite the struggles, the Titans' defense was first in red zone touchdown percentage, allowing a touchdown on just 37% of trips. So that tells me when the field shrink, uh, shrinks, he's able to kind of out-scheme and outsmart the other guys. And that's such a big area of winning a football game is limiting points in the red zone. Hopefully he can have that same success with the New York football Giants. Look, I'm not happy about this hire. I'm not mad about this hire. It doesn't really move me. Um, but he's not as good as a defensive coordinator as Link Martindale. And if you're going to move on from Link, you've got to find someone better. Hopefully he's that guy. My thing is this. Nobody wanted to work with Brian Dable. Nobody. Nobody wants to work with him. Mike Kafka doesn't want to be here. There's a reason that he interviewed twice for the Seattle Seahawks job, did not get it at the head coach spot, and then they all asked to uh, interview him as the OC. That means two things. The Seahawks know he doesn't want to be here, and he knows that he doesn't want to be here, and he would even go to a job that passed up on him as the head coach spot to be the OC. I hope he works. I hope he does. Because he may only be here for one year if he doesn't. Because, Brian Dable, your, your leash is short right now, my good friend. It is very, very short. Shane Bowen has been hired as the defensive coordinator for the New York football Giants. Can everybody just type SB in the chat? Show Shane Bowen some love. I'm not in a great mood today because I'm just tired of everything I'm hearing about this organization. But they hired a new guy. I will believe in him. I will show him love. And I will hope and root that he is the next great defensive coordinator to coach for the New York Giants. But I got to see it. But I got to see it. As always, you can follow me over on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. Let's go Big Blue. Wow. We were just talking about it. There's a reason you had to circle back to a candidate that you entered an so, interview at the beginning of January. I, like, why'd you, why did you interview a coordinator at the Senior Bowl if you thought this was your guy? I'm just, I'm just confused, I think, mainly by this. SB for Super Bowl, yeah. Shane Bowen. Like, is this just a... What did you say your grade was? C plus? B? C plus. C plus? Yeah. I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. I want to be wrong. I don't know. Huh? I think we just do a mailbag. Yeah. And then we can... Yeah. Yeah, I film that tomorrow. We're going to close out today's show with a mailbag. Get your questions in. Hashtag Giants or Super Bowl. Uh, Super Bowl. Su Super Chat. I'm flustered. I'm flustered. What up, Midnight? I, I don't know if it's good. He's got to prove it. He was middle of the pack with the Titans. Really good against the run. Not so good against the pass. Um, I know he wasn't a top option for the Giants. Um, yeah, Rashad, they had some good years. They had some good years. The Titans defense. Um, really good against the run. Really good against the run. I just kind of stopped doing research on him because they interviewed him in January and then I was told he was not a top three candidate. But you got to circle back when everyone tells you they don't want to be there. The job was for the taking for Denard Wilson. That was the Giants' number 
one candidate. Who knows who will be better? Um, hopefully it's our guy. Hopefully it's our guy. Hashtag Giants or Super Chat. Brian says, do we have a good secondary? No, we do not have a good secondary. Uh, you got Deontay Banks, and that's about it. Maybe you can re-sign Xavier McKinney. I think Pinnock is all right. I think Pinnock's all right, but you don't have another corner. Adore Jackson's not going to be back. Ah, lordy, lordy, lordy. Hashtag Giants or Super Chat. We're going to close out the show with a mailbag. As my guy, the Bronx boy, coming in with a $10 Super Chat. What up, Brody? This is why Belichick didn't take a job and he shithoused us. He considers NY home and he's coming back in 2025. From what I heard, it ain't happening. Bill Belichick, it ain't happening. Um, maybe he comes back to be the head coach, but, um, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't, I would, <laughs> I'm not putting a lot of eggs in that basket. I'm not putting a lot of eggs in that basket. Um, reports are coming out that he's not a fan of some of the newer aged members of this organization, a.k.a. John Mara, and some of the younger guys. Oh, another $10 super chat for the Bronx boy. We appreciate it. And, 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 we got three mobile QBs hurt this year. Why take one to break him? Alt, 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 fix that damn line. That's fine. I, I, I agree with that. I, you guys know I'm a Joe Alt guy. But I'm all in on Joe Alt. I'm all in on Joe Alt. I am. That's my pick at six. I just... I don't know. I don't know. Uh... Corinne, what do you mean they're a huge problem? I hate to say it, but he's right. What do you mean by that? Um... I'm not sure what you mean by that. Zach Attack coming in. When will the Giants escape perpetual depression? Well, you need a quarterback. You need a quarterback, and you might need a head coach that people want to work for. Uh, I don't know. I hope it's good. I hope it's good, brother. Sotology, what's up, bro? Marshall, I love you. Love you too, man. But honestly, we won't. We'll, we we will not be good, and it's okay because our division is trash. Ha ha! I love the channel. Thank you for the kind words. Thanks for the contribution. Yeah, I don't feel too good about the Giants going into this year. I don't feel too good about the Giants going into this year. Um, you don't have a quarterback. You just gave up eighty-five sacks. Um, you still don't have any weapons. Um, it's hard to win in this league if you don't have a good quarterback. And if you don't have a good quarterback, you better have the best roster in the NFL. And even Brock Purdy is better than Daniel Jones. So, oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Seeps, that tight fade on the side is a straight up NY haircut, and you look beautiful, Ooh. baby. The Bronx boy, we love you, man. Motherfucker. We love you. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support today. Rob Simpy says, I'm not depressed, still love the team, die hard to the end. Yeah, we all are. There's a reason that there's 500 people watching this show right now, and it's February 9th, or whatever the hell the date is. Um, not the flashy hire, clearly. I mean, when your first two options don't want to work with you, <laughs> and then you don't—you you have a fake interview with Jerome Henderson, 
and then you 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 interview the DB coach of the Vikings that Daniel Jones got a hundred million dollar contract from. Um, I'm kind of just letting my upsetness and pissed offness of the Giants and Brian Dable kind of cloud my judgment of this hire. Yeah. I don't have any strong feelings of this hire. I don't. Um, That's a good point because, like, this guy, he could be a genius by any means. Like, he could be a great hire, but I think it's a track record. And you get burned so many times in the past. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to be good. I don't know if he's going to be great. I'm going to root for him to be great. I think he did a decent job. Uh, in three years with Tennessee, but there's a reason they moved on. There's a reason they moved on as well. Um, Bill? No, you're not. Bill, we love you. We're just trying to be as cool as you on that grill. Bill Hart. That's all I want to be in life, man. It's just, just Bill on the grill. Bill on the grill. <laughs> That's all Bill I on want. the grill. Um, My man. Brian says, do you sell merchandise? We got a couple of things. We got a couple of things. We're trying to get some more, though. We're trying to get some more, Brian. We'll keep that in store. Um, go to chatsports.com slash real one or chatsports.com slash real ones. It's either chatsports.com slash real one or real ones. We've got some chat sports gear up there that you could check out. They're pretty cool. So, Dology, back again. What's up, family? We play the Birds first game on the first game for the 2024 NFL season Thursday night. We will be in the playoffs. Trust. Well, if that is your game, you guys will be playing in Brazil. They just announced Eagles week one will be on a Friday night in Brazil. Did they say versus who? Not versus who yet, um, but the Eagles will be in Brazil week one. Yeah, the schedule usually doesn't come out till after the draft. Um... Some of the opponents for the Giants will include. I'll look it up. Yeah, so if the Giants get the Eagles week one, it will be Friday night in Brazil. Giants will play. I'll leave out the NFC East teams. We know who those are. You get to play at Pittsburgh, at Atlanta, at Carolina, at Cleveland, versus New Orleans, versus Tampa Bay, versus Baltimore, versus Cincinnati, versus Minnesota, versus the Colts, and at the Seahawks. That's not an easy schedule. It's a tough schedule. That is not an easy schedule. Madden don't lie. Maybe the Giants will be in Brazil. He says Madden. <laughs> so, Tology, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, but we are going to get a mailbag um, coming up. So, hashtag Giants. Get those questions in there. Get your reactions. Get your takes. Whatever it may be. So the Giants love making moves right when we go live on Giants. Right when I was about to rip Brian Dable. Yep. In the middle of ripping him. In the middle of ripping his sorry ass. I was going to like just, I mean you would have saw something. I was going to like let you go since like the seg didn't really. Just trying to do some research and some catching up on everything. Stick with us. We've got a mailbag coming up. Need you to get your questions in. Hashtag Giants or Super Chat. Uh, can't do a mailbag if we don't get questions from the real ones. Get them in there. Get them in, get them in, get them in there. Get them in, get them in, get them in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Is someone on that cut? Oh, I mean, it's just not out. So it'll happen. It will. Pro was in the middle of showing the white man no mercy. And he tried. Yikes. <laughs> Brian, so is Jones going to be the starter next season? <laughs> Probably, because this team's dumb as hell. <laughs> Probably. It's so solid. You're saying, I played Madden, and the game don't lie. We finna be in Brazil, and yes, it's Drake in the profile. <laughs> Sotology holding it down. Sotology bringing the good vibes today. I like it. We need it. Um, Somebody needed to. Somebody's got to bring the good vibes. Mine are down um, because I have no faith in the brain trust of this organization anymore. And it's not because of the hire of Shane Bowen. The fact that your offensive coordinator doesn't want to be here. Uh, the fact that you had to go to your fourth 
D.C. candidate. Um, the fact that reports are coming out that you want to sign a veteran backup quarterback to compete with Daniel Jones instead of drafting one in the first round. I could use some good news. Maybe Bowen is the good news. Maybe Bowen uh, is the good news. How are we? Uh, how are we looking on questions here? We're doing all right. All righty. Who would have been your ideal DC pick? Uh, Mike Zimmer. Mike Zimmer was my number one candidate. He did not even get hired. Interviewed. Um, of the people that didn't get interviewed, Denard Wilson and Bobby Babich were one and two for me. Um, they both told the Giants they don't want to be here. Giants go to Brazil. We got to get Martian seeps and carnival. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm with good you. stuff. Is Brian Dable going to call the offensive plays? That's a great question. It's a great question. He's keeping the D the OC that he didn't trust to call plays last year. He's keeping the OC that he took the play sheet from for a half against the Cowboys and gave it to the QB coach. If you don't believe in Mike Kafka to call the plays, fire him. Fire him. And do it yourself. You were brought here to fix the offense. Grazy says, Marsh, you weren't wrong. Spencer Rattler is balling out. Try to tell you. Everyone laughed at me. Everyone laughed at me. And it's just the start of like the Rattler. Everyone train. laughed at me. <laughs> Marsh, Spencer Rattler. Yeah, he was the best quarterback at the Senior Bowl, and he won Senior Bowl MVP. Mm. It's weird. I th how could you be trash and do It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, Brian says, I mean, I hope the Chargers don't get Barkley from us. I'm not sure why he'd want to be here. I think the Giants got bigger fish to fry than Saquon. All right, let me scroll one more time, see if I see anything. Steven Blaine. A four-week defensive coordinator search to hire someone you interviewed in week one who you didn't offer the job to until yesterday. I wonder, well, I wonder what that guy's thinking. It's like, oh, I was your fourth. That was your fourth option. Bill, everyone loves Spencer Rattler now. It's weird. Everyone loves him. Um, but I was first. We were first. This channel was first on it. Yeah. So um, everyone could love him now, but they all laughed when we talked about it. Oh, everybody was calling Martian Seeps. We walked out of the studio a month ago, and everybody was just looking at us side-eyed. Everyone was laughing. Too serious. He's now projected to go in the second round. Yep. So. Gritty Guapo, what's up, Brody? Lewis Tank Dickens, LTD. What up, LTD? What's up, boss man? What a beast. All righty. Hashtag Giants or Super Chat to get on the show. Um. LTD, you watched it. Your eyes, they don't lie. That kid can spin it, man. Kid can spin it. I just, it last thing on Rattler, 2022 game versus Clemson. Go watch it. Yeah. Almost beat the number eight team in the country yep. with nobody. Gritty Guapo, yes, sir. Yes, I'm sir. Pretty sure Clemson also that game was playing for the ACC. They were. Like, that, was, that was, go watch it. All righty. Giants have hired Shane Bowen to be their next defensive coordinator. Let's do a mailbag talking about the latest news and rumors. What's going on, everybody? You're watching Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. Appreciate everybody for stopping by and hanging out with the real ones as we talk about the latest news and rumors. It's been an eventful week for the New York Giants. A lot of talk about what they're going to do in the NFL draft. They hire their new defensive coordinator and Shane Bowen, but it still just seems like there's something wrong inside the walls in East Rutherford. We're going to try to break it down on today's show. Hi, Bell says, who would have been your top pick for defensive coordinator? Look, I am praying and hoping that Shane Bowen is the right guy. I think it's a little backwards that report came out from Diana Rossini when the news broke that the Giants 
took their time and did their due diligence. They told us last week they wanted to have a higher by Friday. They lied. Um, and then they tried to spin zone it through a talking head. Um, they wanted Denard Wilson as their number one guy. He told you no. He chose the Tennessee Titans over the New York football giants. They wanted Bobby Babbage to be their defensive coordinator. Uh, he told you no. He stayed with the Buffalo Bills. Don't tell me you practice patience or the importance of taking their time when just last week you said you wanted to hire someone by Friday, and then that Friday, Denard Wilson told you no, meaning you thought you, thought you had Wilson in the bag, but he didn't want to come here. That's in the past. Um, I wanted Wilson. I wanted Mike Zimmer. Uh, those were Wilson was my number one candidate that got interviewed. Mike Zimmer was my number one candidate when the search got announced. <clears throat> Giants didn't interview him, and now he may be the defensive coordinator for the Cowboys. Wink Martindale Matt may now be the defensive coordinator for the Cowboys. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not confident in, in this football team right now. And it has nothing to do with the hire of Shane Bowen. Process, process, process. Took you a month to hire a guy you interviewed a month ago. You interviewed somebody at the Senior Bowl this weekend because you didn't know who it was going to be because you had to shuffle around and go find somebody after Denard Wilson told you no. I don't know. I hope it's the right hire. If not, uh, <laughs> look, Ryan Nagel, you're on the hot seat. Giants will make the playoffs this year. You're not going to have a job, which means Bowen probably won't have a job. It's a leap of faith for him. Hope it works out for him because if it does, that means his team's going to be better, and I'm always going to root for this team. Sebastian, what up, man? Do you think that, Dave, that Dable is a hothead or just misunderstood? Maybe this year he gets level-headed and things change. I hope so. I remember when uh, Tom Coughlin, prior to the 2007 season, had to change his mindset, had a team meaning, and, and told everybody he was going to be different, and they went and won a Super Bowl. Uh, it, it's come out over the last two years. Nobody has enjoyed working with Brian Dable. Um that nobody has enjoyed it. I mean, look, your running back coach left last year. You had to fire your OC. You fired your DC, parted ways. Mike Kafka doesn't want to be here. Your tight end coach just left to go coach for the Los Angeles Chargers. Just one thing after another. Um, I hope he gets level-headed and things change, but I don't know if that will happen. He might just be who he is, who is very rough, rugged, controlling, uh, over... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gritty Guapo, if this year doesn't work out, then Dable is gone. Yes. You think something will happen to Joe Shane? Why, why should he continue to stay? They were a package deal. Package deal. Um, no, the Giants are bad. You should clean house. If the Giants are bad again, you should clean house. The number one job of Joe Shane when he got here was to fix the offensive line. We're going into season number three with Joe Shane. The offensive line is still the biggest question. Brian Dable, you were brought here to fix the offense. The offense is in a worse spot than it was when you got hired. And you both gave Daniel Jones $100 million. If you're not good this year, you don't deserve to be the decision makers for this football team. What is your confidence level in Joe Shane and Brian Dable? It was all good just 12 months ago. And then you had one of the worst seasons in Giants history. And then all your coordinators want to leave. and Oh, man. What is your confidence level? Mine's no higher than a five. Scale it for me. One being you have no confidence. Ten being you have the utmost confidence in the group. Underline, my man. Good to see you on Giants now, brother. Let's go, Giants. Underline is in the chat. Giants are going 10-7, and seven, and Daniel Jones will have a bounce back year. Book it. Let's go, Giants. From your mouth to God's ears. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. There would be, I, you would never see a happier man in the world, me coming on this channel telling you I am wrong about Daniel Jones. I want to be wrong. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Nope, what up, man? Welcome to the dumpster fire that is the team. Nobody wants to be on the team. Let's just fire Dable now because there's no way in hell he's back next season. <sighs> he's got a year to fix it. He's got a year to fix it. Um... I'm not even sure they need to make the playoffs next year, but at least be competent. At least don't be the laughing stock of the league. Don't be the team that nobody wants to coach for. Um, he's going to be the coach for the year. 
and we'll, and we'll be back here in 10, 13 months, 12 months, 11 months talking about if he's the guy to stay. Make sure you are hooked up with our proud sponsor, Price Picks. Go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS, and Price Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Price Picks is daily fantasy sports made easy, and what I love about them is their awesome deals within specials that they have running all the time, like this, Patrick Mahomes, more uh, than half a passing yard. You could take that. They always do sweet deals. Check them out. Isaiah Pacheco, I think, gets in the end zone. And I'm going to go with more receiving yards for Christian McCaffrey. Surprisepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. Daily fantasy sports made easy. It's a lot of fun. They'll match first deposit up to $100. Check them out. Check them out. You guys will love them. Hi, Bell says, I feel like we tried fixing the line last year and got nowhere. Did you really try to fix the offensive line last year? Um, the only addition you made to this team was a rookie center in round two. You, you didn't sign anyone. You didn't sign a starter. You didn't make a trade. Uh, hopefully your new O-line coach, Carmen Brasillo, is someone that can develop players. Um, Joe Shane ignored the offensive line last year. He did. Um, Giants were awful. Were awful on the offensive line last year in 2022. And then the offseason of 2023, all they did was select John Michael Schmitz in round two. You rolled out Evan Neal again. You rolled out Ben Bredesen. You rolled out Mark Lewinsky. He didn't do anything. He took him. He drafted one rookie, and he expected that to, to good. Capiche, capiche, capiche. We're good. It's a joke. Joe G, I want Dable to stop being buddy-buddy with the players and start holding them accountable. Bring back the early years of Tom Coughlin. Um, is he buddy buddy with the players? He damn near threw a tablet at Daniel Jones. He's barked at Daniel Jones before. Um, I don't know. I don't know. How about you just call the plays the reason you got hired and run a good offense? Like that is the bare minimum he should be doing here. He got hired for what he did as an offensive coordinator for the Bills. Um, how about you just come here and at least make the offense 1% better? Brian Brown, what up, man? Martian Seeps, heard your boy Rattler went off at the Senior Bowl. We should get him two or third round, uh, but I think we have to relax. Dable and Joe showed us they are capable. Yeah, Tim Tebow also won a playoff game. But yeah, we told you about Rattler. Um, I think he throws one of the best footballs in this class. I think he's one of the most talented in this class. Yeah, there's off the field stuff. I'm not so sure I agree with Dable and Joe showed us they are capable, though. They missed the seventh pick with Evan Neal. Um, I have a lot of questions about Dable's in-game management. And then all the reports that came out that no one likes him and that he doesn't let people work, and I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not confident in, in them right now. They got. They got to show me some. I, I went with the blind apologist. I tried that, and they made me look stupid. What up, Tank? Is John Mayer the problem? Yeah, he's a part of the problem. Hell yeah, he is. He pushed Joe Shane and Doug Brian Dable to give Daniel Jones 160 million dollars. Yeah, he's a part of the problem. There's been one constant. Since 2012 when you won the Super Bowl. And since then have been one of the worst organizations in the NFL. It's John Mara. Yes, John Mara is part of the problem. And I would probably say he is the biggest part of the problem. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. YouTube.com slash TV. We're going to be here all offseason keeping you up to date. So sub for Giants updates. Craig Clifford, my man, with a $20 super chat. Craig, what's up, homie? Thanks for supporting. We appreciate you. Craig, just type in a 10. Is that, is that the confidence you have in Brian Dable and Joe Shane? Or, uh, I don't know. For the people that did 20 today, just do two. Yeah. Yeah. 
Craig, you mean that's your confidence level or what? Just want to be double sure on that. Thanks for supporting as always. Do you think we should start Tyrod Taylor? Tyrod Taylor doesn't want to be here. Tyrod Taylor doesn't want to be here. You 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 ruined a relationship with Tyrod Taylor so you could appease to the media and play Danny DeVito. Tommy DeVito. You did it for the Instagram comments. David Zahn, what up, bro? A chat sports legend. David Zahn in the building. What up, Brody? What up, dog? Um, no, Tyrod Taylor does not want to be here. You benched him for Tommy DeVito. <laughs> they benched him for the intern. <laughs> they benched him for the intern. It didn't work. It didn't work. It took you out of draft position. And you might have won. Whatever. I'm not, I'm not getting into that. J. Fed says Tyrod is a NFL backup. Diamond doesn't. Yeah, Giants had three backup quarterbacks on their roster this year. There's a lot of them. They all just play for the Giants. Namir says we got back. We get backup quarterback in free agency. Why? Why? David Zahn, I don't know anything about him. Yeah, there's not a lot of people that know much about him. Um, look, I. I'm just up. I'm just. I just don't have a lot of faith in the Giants regime right now. David Zahn, um, candidate one and candidate two, told the Giants they didn't want to coach for him. They told us they were last Monday, a week from today, a week ago today. Excuse me. Joe Shane spoke to the media at the Senior Bowl and said we're going to have the DC search wrapped up by Friday. The guy they wanted to hire on Friday told them no, and he took the Titans job. And then you frantically interviewed somebody at the Senior Bowl who's never been a D.C., and he was the defensive back coach for the Minnesota Vikings for the defense that Daniel Jones shredded. And then on Monday, you hire the defensive coordinator that you interviewed a month ago. Uh, it's not because I don't think Bowen's going to be good. I hope Bowen's good. He had a really good run defense in Tennessee. The process is ass-backwards. The process is so ass-backwards. Um... And now your OC doesn't want to be here. Seeps, do you know how bad you, your OC would want to leave? If your OC interviewed for a head coaching job for Seattle, uh -huh. he interviewed twice. He didn't get the job. But he's now willing to be their OC. You know how bad that, you know what that tells you about his current situation? Yeah, that's like, that's like you, like, obviously, like, let's just say, like, Marsh and I work at a sports media company. Let's just say we go interview for an upgraded position at another company, and they say no, they tell us we don't like them. And then we're like, you know what? I actually hate so much the place I work with right now. What's your, like, what's your equal kind of whatever move? Like, it's not good. It just shows that you would rather do anything else but. Anything else but coach for the New York Giants. I, I actually wonder if somebody asked him, quarterback coach, or be the OC for the Giants next season. I wonder if he would take QB coach. And this is my thing. You took play calling away from Mike Kafka multiple times this year. If you don't believe in him as a play caller, why are you employing him? Yep. Why? Why? If I didn't trust Patrick Seaman to produce this show, and I had to have someone else come produce this show four times, and we get the intern who's never produced before, to produce for three quarters of a watch party. Midway through. <laughs> Midway, Midway through. through. Like, you got to get out. Like, <laughs> like, you know who that would be on, Marsh? Yes, me for not doing my... But also on whoever's making the decision, Brian Dable. Like... It just seems like it's just chaos. It seems like there's no plan. There's no rhyme or reason for any of this. I don't know what they're doing. I don't. Yes, they should. Yes, they should fire Mike Kafka and they should promote Shea Tyranny as offensive coordinator. And Brian Dable should call the plays. Yep. You already had Shea Tyranny call plays against the Dallas Cowboys last season. I literally have that as an L uh, 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 scripted in the show that we were going to do. I don't know. This team. This team is not headed in the right direction. Um. They have, a, they have a cut that needs 18 stitches on their elbow, and they're trying to put a paper, a, a Band-Aid on it. And they're trying to put a Band-Aid on it. And it just keeps on coming out. They're just like, oh, I mean. 
Oh my god, what happened to the New York Giants I used to love? What happened to them? It was just a year ago, dude. Literally, 12 months ago, we thought this team was on the up and up. <laughs> it was a fun, fun last last offseason. Grab some super glue. You need more than that, my friend. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to sign off on today's show. We've already been live for an hour and a half. Some of the stuff we had planned for today's show got kind of ruined since the Giants hired their defensive coordinator. But they have their guys. They have their guy. Shane Bowen, former Titans DC, is now your defensive coordinator for the New York football Giants. Hey, what? This guy has some stones taking this job, though. That's, that is that's one thing I respect. Like, stones or desperation? Fair point. <laughs> actually, no, actually a really good point. Like, I hope he's good. Yeah. No one here is rooting against Shane Bowen. No, no, no. I know I'm in a bad mood. Um, it's more so to do and not more so. <laughs> it's all to do with <laughs> yeah. Brian Dable and Joe Shane. Joe Shane, you are not free of this. At Rob Jigga, uh, this Wednesday at like one o'clock. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know, man. I don't know either. Corey Young says this is nothing but shock value at the moment until we actually. The thing is, we're not even talking about the DC hire. Yeah. We're talking about the fact that nobody wants to work for the Giants. That Matt Kafka wants to go be the Seattle Seahawks offensive coordinator after they told yep. him we don't think you're head coach material. He that badly wants to leave the New York Giants. Upside to life, what's up, bro? It's also and it's not like Seattle. Like, let's just say Seattle had like a young and up and coming quarterback or a top five pick. Like Seattle's got Geno Smith. And Kafka would rather go kind of see what they have there. Maybe obviously if they draft like Penix or something. MSH says, at least I bought a Deontay Banks jersey. I hope it was a new one with his number. He's changing to number three. So if you bought a 25 one, I feel bad for you. Yeah, Neymar, I'm with you. It's John Mara. It's John Mara. Um, MSH, yeah, dude, I hope, I hope you, you knew that. Deontay Banks is changing to number three. I almost would return it. Hopefully no. you haven't worn it and took the tag off. But, yes, Deontay Banks is changing to number three. MSH. I'm MSH, sorry. please tell me that you're please on. Tell me it's a joke. <laughs> Not on a day like this, MSH. Legendary, that's true. Also, if it can go from bad, good to bad in 12 months, it can go bad to good. Hey, great point. I mean, once you sign Jacoby Brissett and to be your quarterback to compete with Daniel Jones, yeah, it's going to fire up in DJ's ass. It didn't arrive yet. <laughs> yeah, I would. I'd return it and just wait till he officially changes his number. Crazy dude. Corey Young, if I gotta wait like Lions fans wait, I don't know if I can do this. If I gotta wait as long as Lions fans wait, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> That's uh. Would you want to be a Lions fan? You wait 25 years for that, and then you go blow a 17-point lead in the NFC Championship game? Upside to life says, did you see the video from the Giants? Joe Shane and Kafka seems like Kafka wants to be back. If Kafka wanted to be back, why would he accept an interview to be the Seahawks OC? This just says more you don't, about Babel. You, you, you don't just request to interview people that don't want to interview with you. Yeah, <laughs> he right. wanted to interview with them, aka he wants to leave the Giants. I, I honestly just think this has nothing to do with Shane Bowen. At it has all. nothing to do with Shane Bowen. It just this just has to do with the way Dable has kind of handled this past. Like, listen, Dable was a great coach to have when things were going right. Things go wrong. It's, it's after not really one season, your OC and your DC and your offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator want to leave. One they, bad, one, bad, one bad season, and it's just like nobody wants to be around. Like that just shows, like when things are going bad. Like, you remember, remember what we were saying? It's easy to be a fan when your team's good. It's easy to be a head coach when your team's good and you're playing well, and to keep that positive mindset. But 
There will not be a stream next Monday. It'll probably be next Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. I will be flying back from Las Vegas on Monday, so I will not be here. Legendary Beef Curtain. Um, the guy that should call the plays for the Giants is the guy that got the head coach job for calling plays for the Buffalo Bills. If you're a mechanic and you own a mechanic shop and all the mechanics you have hired don't want to work with you anymore or have not done a good enough job to raise the profile of your mechanic shop, you know what you should do? If they don't show up for work, you as the head mechanic should go do some mechanic things. Yep. You should get the job done. Instead, you sit back and uh, he's not even a good game manager. Like I thought his usage of timeouts are terrible. I don't always yeah. agree with what he does on fourth down. Like if you hired Brian Dable to be your CEO and head coach in a game management operations, he hasn't earned that job for the first two years. Yeah, it should be Shea Tierney gets the upgrade to offensive coordinator, and then Brian Dable calls the plays. That is what should happen. Kafka doesn't want to be here. You don't believe in him. Why is he here? Seeps is not going to Vegas. He uh he uh he told everyone he didn't want to go. So I might sneak him in my suitcase though. Yeah. What defense does Bowen run? He's known for running a 3-4, but I, 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 I'm I, just going to continue to say, let's not get caught up in 3-4 or 4-3. You operate out of a dime package or nickel package 85% of the time. Um, it was like 10 years ago it matters a little more. but Yeah. <laughs> Bronx boy, don't do that. Don't do that, Bronx boy. I love you too much. You got it. You, you are a very positive person. I'd let you sleep on my couch if it didn't go out well for you, but it ain't that good of a couch. That's a frog sport. Don't don't do that. I would advise everyone to not make bets on the Giants doing well until they get a new quarterback. I'm moving into the studio. He's carpet. You're gonna be sleeping on carpet. <laughs> Hope you like carpet. All righty, we're signing off. We've been live for an hour and thirty minutes. Giants hire their defensive coordinator Shane Bowen. We'll see you boys later.